Welcome, my friends. If you follow this channel, you already know that layoffs are basically sweeping the United States. In fact, there has been so much layoff news that I have had difficulty finding time to cover anything else. You have heard about the 50% layoff at Twitter. The 11,000 person layoff at Meta. And the 10,000 person layoff at Amazon. The yet to be announced layoff at Google. And many others. But today, we are hearing of news that not everyone is getting laid off. In fact, some types of employees are in high demand. And, there is an actual shortage. One specific profession that we are going to discuss today is airline pilots. Yes, my friends, there is a shortage of airline pilots, at least in the United States. And the shortage is so acute that one airline is giving its pilots a huge raise. That's right, my friends, Spirit Airlines is offering its pilots a whopping 43% pay increase. 43%? When is the last time you got a 43% raise? That is pretty significant. And this comes as hundreds of corporate jobs in North America are being eliminated. Were the corporate jobs actually fake jobs? Hard to say. But they paid real money. But at least the airline pilots can enjoy keeping their jobs and getting paid more to do their work. What does it mean for the economy? And, what does it mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please press the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. You heard it right, my friends. Spirit Airlines is seeking a solution to its shortage of pilots. In order to retain its pilots, it is offering big raises in a new tentative contract. Spirit Airlines is not as well known as United, Delta, American, or Southwest. But it is the 800-pound gorilla in the ultra-low-cost carrier market. The cumulative weighted average pay raise in the new tentative agreement is 43%. Right now, all major airlines across the United States are working fast to hire more pilots. Spirit Airlines is making quite a statement to its pilots. The airline industry was basically shut down during the pandemic. But now, the strict pandemic travel restrictions have been lifted. And demand for air travel is skyrocketing. The pilots are unionized and represented by the Airline Pilots Association, ALPA. The union representing Spirit's pilots, said. The association says that the deal would raise cumulative weighted average pay for first officers to 43%. All captains would receive a pay increase of 25% over two years. The deal would increase cumulative weighted average pay rates by 34% for Spirit Airlines pilots overall. The association also said the offer is a two-year agreement. The deal would give pilots an economic gain of $463 million or 27%. That is an incredible deal. Pilots are now preparing to vote on the deal. If the new deal is approved by rank and file pilots, then it would go into effect on January 1st Street. The association is recommending a yes vote and is trying to generate support for the contract. It has roadshows planned beginning next week intended to generate support for the new contract. So far, no voting date has been set. Spirit's pilot union head is Ryan Muller. The association said that 3,100 pilots would be covered in the newly proposed deal. The new contract also provides higher training pay. And increased contributions to 401k for pilots. What is best is that it does not demand any concessions from Spirit pilots. Spirit Airlines is basically implementing a retaining strategy just to keep the pilots it has. And this is basically the same thing that other airlines have done. These days, pilots have much better bargaining power because of the shortage, coupled with the increase in travel demand. For example, Delta Airlines offered its pilots a 34% pay increase over three years. Regional carrier SkyWest Airlines actually doubled its pay for all pilots in September. Additionally, and, airlines are now offering pilot training programs. These programs require very little or even no experience. The idea is to get more people to select a career as a pilot. Spirit announced what it calls a new pilot pathway program. Ultra-low-cost rival Frontier Airlines initiated a pilot training program in November. Wall Street analysts estimate the U.S. is short of 10,000 pilots. They also estimate that it will take until 2027 for supply of pilots to catch up with demand. But the Airline Pilots Association says that help is on the way. They are saying that a surplus of new pilots will be coming online next year. The report incorporated data from the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. 
According to the Federal Aviation Administration, 10,000 commercial pilot certificates were issued in the past 12 months. But airlines and pilots are in stark contrast to white-collar corporate workers. Many companies are laying off white-collar corporate workers. Pepsi is laying off workers at its North American headquarters. The job cuts are coming in Pepsi's of its North American snacks and beverages divisions. Most corporate layoffs are due to worsening macroeconomic conditions. Where have we heard that before? None other than practically every Q3 and Q2 earnings calls this year. The overall U.S. labor market remains historically tight, with employers competing for a limited pool of labor, especially airline pilots. In some cases, they are bidding up wages despite an uncertain economic outlook. PepsiCo joins other companies in announcing layoffs. Walmart. Ford Motor Company. Warner Brothers Discovery. And a whole bunch of tech companies as you already know. Corporate America has been trimming white collar so that they can hold on to frontline staff. The slowdown in corporate advertising has pushed many tech and media companies into layoff mode. And, if you follow this channel, you already know the financial economic narrative of these times. Inflation is raging in most countries. Central banks around the world are aggressively raising interest rates in order to fight inflation. So, people who borrow money for anything are having to spend more of their budget on interest. Incomes are not rising as fast as interest are keeping up with inflation. So, consumer budgets are getting squeezed and reapportioned. Consumer discretionary spending is getting squeezed out. Corporate marketers are cutting advertising budgets. Because they are sensing that consumers have less discretionary income to spend. And advertising is the lifeblood of many big tech companies. As a result, big tech companies have announced layoffs. Those layoffs are anywhere from a few hundred employees to a 50% layoff at Twitter. Pepsi is not the only food and beverage company to cut jobs. Beyond Meat. Impossible Foods. And rival beverage giant Coca-Cola. But I know that you are all waiting to hear how many people Google will lay off. Also, if you follow this channel, you know that a major activist Google shareholder is demanding layoffs. Activist investor TCI Fund Management holds a $6 billion stake in Google parent company, Alphabet. TCI told Google CEO Sundar Pichai that both salary expenses and headcount must come down. According to TCI, this must be done using a much more aggressive action than by stealth layoffs. TCI has made the case that compensation and headcount at Google are just way too high. Much higher, in fact, than at other companies in the rest of Silicon Valley. Google remains one of a few tech companies that has not yet formally announced major layoffs. That the United States is teetering on the brink of recession. 2022 has seen an absolute parade of layoffs in technology companies. Twitter laid off 50% of its employees. Meta laid off 11,000 employees. Amazon laid off 10,000 employees. Snap laid off 20% about a month ago. Google employees have become known for a practice, rest and vest. This practice depicted in a fictional TV show called, Silicon Valley. Snap also initiated a major restructuring of their online platform. When will the job cuts stop? When will we return to growth? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, I will keep you informed and up to date. But, what do you think? Please leave us a comment below and hit the like button. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.